Hi guys, it's Crystal with Design Bundles. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this awesome light bucket to use on your next camping trip. Maybe you want to give these away for Christmas gifts, maybe you have Father's Day, whatever it may be. You guys are going to love these lights. So let's go ahead and get started. Now that we're over here on Design Bundles, this is going to be the file that we're using today. This is a great package. You can use these as signs. You can put them on these buckets to create the lights. You can use them on t-shirts. The possibilities are endless. It's a great file. These are all amazing. It's not like one or two. It, they're all good. So let me go ahead and show you a few of the files and then we'll head on over to Cricut Design Space so I can show you what file we're going to be making today. On the front, you can see um, a few of those already. And then you can go ahead and click these here to kind of get a closer up image of what all you have. So you can see that they've shown you signs. You can do t-shirts with these, all of the things. So you can see another sign here. And then these are those glow buckets. So this is what we're going to be making today is these glow buckets. As you can see here, this is what we're making. They're super, super adorable. This one right here to the right, as you guys can see that file, that's the one that we're going to be using today. All you need to do is add it to your cart check out, download it, and bring it over to your favorite die cutting machine. So today we're gonna to be using the Cricut Explorer Air 2, so let's go ahead and head on over to Cricut Design Space. All right, now that we're over here in Cricut Design Space, I've already uploaded and brought my image in here. So all you need to do for this one is super easy. We're just gonna size it up. For these buckets, what I did was, I did 11.5 high, and that gave us 9.75 wide. This is perfect for these buckets. It's gonna perfectly fit on there and it looks great. So this is the size that I did today. And then it comes in individual. So this is another one of those. So that way you can come in here. Maybe you wanna change the colors. So if I wanted to do that, I would just hit ungroup. And let's say, for example, I wanted to change these chairs to, you know, like a bright green or something. I could come in here and I could change these here, so on, so forth. So it just gives you more options. But today I'm going to be keeping it all black solid together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit select all and we're going to hit attach. That way they all group together and cut in one spot. Now that we have it sized, everything's ready to go. We're going to hit make it. We don't need to mirror this because we're going to be using regular vinyl. Now, if you were going to be making a t-shirt, you definitely want to mirror it at that point. But for your signs, your buckets, any of those things, you definitely don't have to do that. Now, you can use, um, you know, holographic vinyl for this. You can use some glow-in-the-dark stuff. You can use whatever you want to. But today, we're just going to be using some plain black vinyl. So I'm ready to go. All we have to do at this point is cut it out and head on over to the craft room. Now for the fun stuff. All you need to do is have your image cut out and then you're going to need a piece of transfer tape. So today I'm going to be using the Cricut transfer tape because it's the, that way I have a 12 by 12 sheet pretty much. And then you're going to need some sort of light and a bucket. You can use those LED strips where you can change the color. Today I'm just using an LED light that came in a two pack from Lowe's. It's just a little touch light. I really like them. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our transfer tape and I'm going to show you guys, I'm just peeling back a little bit of it so I have control. So I'll start getting that down at the top and then as I'm pushing, I'll pull. So that way, instead of trying to get one big sheet on there, it really helps. So that's a huge tip there. Now what you're going to do is burnish this together. So all you're going to do is take your little scraper tool. You could take an old debit card um, and scrape this down and really get it to adhere to your transfer tape. Now here I'm going to show you that you could take your scraper tool to hold your bucket. So if you take two, you can perfectly hold it, but I just use one, which you guys will see here in just a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over. It's, it's better to flip your image over and peel at an angle on the back side to peel that away. So you can see that I have my bucket. Now you're going to watch down at the bottom. You can see that I'm going to take my scraper tool and tuck it underneath until you can't no more. And now it won't roll anymore. That'll help you keep that stable. And then I'm going to take my image and fold it like a taco and go straight down and then you can let both sides go or one side at a time just so you have a little bit more control and then you can adjust here and there before you fully push um, all the way down you can go ahead and pull back up and adjust anything that you need to once you're happy with it you can take your fingers and completely just rub the entire thing like this or you could take your scraper tool again and use that as well just to make sure you rub it in there very well so you just want to make sure you're adhering it as best as you can that way it makes it a lot easier to pull away your transfer tape Thank you. 
Once you think that it's adhered, you can just simply take your transfer tape at an angle here and you can just lay it flat over like so and peel it at an angle and peel it right off. Now on your vinyl here, you may notice a few bubbles here and there. You can kind of rub those out with your finger. Don't worry about them. They will settle over time. You can always take a needle as well and poke a hole in the center of those if you if it bothers you, but it will work itself out over time. So you can see that I'm just simply peeling that off and there it is. How super cute is this? I love it. Even if you weren't using it as a light and you were filling it with your s'more stuff or whatever it may be, all your camping gear. And then at the end of the night, when you're using all that stuff, you guys can use them as your lights. So definitely use them as storage. So now all you have to do is turn your light on, pop it down there in the middle and put your lid on. And then after that, you wait for nighttime and take it out. Now you could do the, um, like a pink bucket. You could do a blue bucket, green bucket, and use a clear light as well. Whatever color bucket that you get with a clear light, it will show that color. So here you guys can see it out on my back porch, just shining bright. It's a really great light. It's a, it's genius. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.